So currently I work with the National Grid's regulation team. So I have the responsibility of securing up to a billion pounds to deliver new transmission reinforcements in the southwest of England. I would say about you know, 33% of the time I'm working solely, 33% with my team um, in regulation, and then 33% of the time with the core project that's delivering this new investment. But it has its peaks and troughs during the weeks and months. So the evening of the Young Energy Professional Awards, um, which is an inaugural event, was really exciting and importantly it really demonstrated the richness of talent um, and really encouraging uh, to see the amount of potential we have in the UK energy industry. Um, so if we could bottle up that excitement and really be able to kind of sell you know, what, what great things are going on across different energy businesses and all the opportunities and great work that people are delivering would be brilliant. Um, but I was really honoured to share that platform with such many people. But in particular, you know, being honoured with the, the award of Ernst & Young Energy UK Young Energy Professional in 2015, I was very honoured, it's very humbling. Um, but also importantly, a great sense of responsibility. So I'm lead of National Grid's Women in National Grid Group. Our aim is to you know, support women's development and importantly encourage and show people that they can have a fulfilling career both in National Grid but equally in the energy industry. Um, I also do a lot of work volunteering with youth employment charities and really you know, helping people, I think the best way to put it is the art of the possible, you know, actually demonstrating what a career in engineering um, can be. Um, I look back about, you know, how did I get into engineering? And certainly it was the key stages were at school. Um, in particular, you know, it was getting involved in Scottish Space School that really showed me what engineering could look like. But then I subsequently got involved in a Shell Green Design Challenge where I was building, you know, a micro wind turbine out of balsa wood. And it's really showing that creativity of engineering. I'm um, also showing its technical skills, but it's also about you know, uh, project management, budgets, costs, and that we you know as engineers we've got to balance all those factors. So my kind of call to peers, uh, and I think to be honest, the majority of them are doing it. Um, I think the main focus is actually how do we do it in a co coordinated manner.